here we have the bile pump. So we put the, put the GFP fluorescent bacteria and So what are we looking at here, David? This is a, the GFP P31 Borrelia, and we're looking at it with fluorescence. And this is a biofilm, like I showed with a dark field. And here, with the fluorescence, we can actually see down into the biofilm much more so than we could with dark field. And you'll see that these bright spots are actually positioned under fluorescing the protein, which means that they're part of the Borrelia body. So you can see in the composition here, there are spirochetes inside the biofilm. And also a great number of cyst bodies. See all of the spheres that are here. What approximately what size is this this little biofilm mass? Uh, approximately, this is about 50 microns. Away. 50 microns. About that, um, you know, roughly. I don't have an est estimate bar in here, but I'm right. going to say that the entire thing, not not just this, but this entire thing, is roughly 50 microns wide. And those, this was grown in culture. Yes. Yeah, this is also in BSK media. The same. This is incubated with the CO2, elevated CO2. So uh, this just forms inside the suspension, especially on the on the glass surfaces of the tube. But it also it just forms in the suspension. Uh, we haven't done anything to trigger the biofilm formation. We haven't administered any compounds. We try to do any kind of treatment to get it. The biofilm forms even in a perfectly happy culture. It seems to be a, a matter of just the, the number of barely that we have present as the population starts to increase, we start to get filming. And we get plenty of filming. Sometimes with, with, with treatment we'll get more filming, but, but the pile film is certainly just a, uh, another approach to life that barely I have. Dave, can you repeat that point again, please? Yeah, this, uh, the, the, the GFP Borrelia has been specially genetically engineered in order to produce the protein. So the only things you're going to see glowing here are the things that are certainly Borrelia. It's all Borrelia that you're seeing that's glowing. So not only are the spirochetes that are, that are expressing this protein, but these balls, the cysts that are expressing it, those have to be genetically related to everything that's here and to here. They're all expressing their protein. So unquestionably, everything that you're seeing here is Borrelia. Everything that's glowing. Little pieces that you're seeing moving, the larger cyst balls that you're seeing moving. Everything that's here, everything that's glowing, is expressing the, the protein, and everything that's expressing the protein is the GFP Borrelia. How many different forms are in that mass? Well, you can readily see three, um, besides the existence of biofilm itself, which you, know, you could you could consider as another morphology, as it's it, it's not only. Uh, the body itself is in it, but it's also chosen to take residence in the biofilm, hold steel still in exchange with it, with its neighbors instead of being planktonic. We also we have the, the spirochetes, clear spirochetes. You have a spirochete that's carrying cysts on it. You have free planktonic cysts like here, um, large cyst balls that are more than a micron wide. And then uh, I've also seen a few uh, of a small granular flying through here. I'm not catching one right now, but but uh, yeah. So there's there's three morphologies of the Borrelia bodies themselves here, and then you can also count the biofilm as a as a as a morphology itself. And there's certainly cysts, spirochetes, and granular forms present here. Thanks, David.